What is the International Space Station? What are we actually seeing in the sky? Well, it's obvious it's not this silly pantomime flying by at 17,500 miles an hour. So what is it? It's a relevant question. And one that has been asked quite a lot recently in the comments section, people like this fella. What is the ISS then? Photographers have captured it all over the world. I don't understand the logistics of how this is possible if the ISS isn't real. Anyone able to shed some light on it? For one, no one has claimed on this channel that the ISS, and when I say the ISS, the observation we see go across the sky on a regular basis, no one on this channel doubts that observation, okay? What's doubted on this channel is the observation we see in the sky is this silly pantomime hurtling by at 17,500 miles an hour. Okay? There seems to be a hell of a lot of muddying the water regarding this subject. Again, it would seem like certain people want to attach the claim to this channel that I deny the observation that goes by in the sky. No. I shall be doing a video regarding what I think we're seeing in the sky. And I'm basing what I believe we're seeing in the sky on a timeline of technology which was relevant at the time and also based on things NASA were also doing at the time. I'll be doing a video very soon highlighting what I actually think we're seeing in the sky. But I wanted to put this one out there for you guys to put in the comments what you actually think you're seeing that is cited as the ISS. Put it in the comments because when I do the video any ones that I find quite interesting, I'm going to read out as well. Um, so yeah, put your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, and yeah, before we go, let's just look at this silly clip here. Two secs. This now infamous clip has it all. At the back, the female so-called astronaut is clearly off her nut on hairspray. We've got no delay in communications here exposing this silly charade. And because there's no delay in communications, we get to see instant looks of guilt upon the faces here of these so-called astronauts when asked, are they in a TV studio somewhere? If that wasn't bad enough, the circus-like response to that question only made it worse. As our mate here front left does his little circus trick to try and fool naive individuals into believing absurd things. Because no doubt Doug has seen him in practice, and up until this point in time, obviously didn't have enough confidence in matey boy's circus skills. Doug had to get involved. And because Doug had got involved, you see Doug's hand get a little bit touchy-touchy-feely-feely with matey boy's leg hair. And as a result of that, Doug tugs at the cable system that NASA obviously use here to help these individuals perform circus tricks. And in doing so, kind of gives the game away. So pay particular attention to the circus stunt, Doug doing his tug trick. Pay particular attention to Sandy changing her directional vector, but her hairspray saying absolutely solid and changing its vector with her, but not changing or moving whatsoever, acting exactly how it would do if you were off your nut on hairspray. And of course, Pay particular attention to the instant looks of guilt upon the faces here when these characters are asked if they're in a TV studio. I'm telling you, I've done a lot of these interviews, as well, a few of them from space. The technology now is amazing. The picture, guys, you look like you're in a studio, maybe in Omaha, Nebraska or something. The, the, the shot is so clear. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? See the hair? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to do something for you. Yeah. Uh, oh, I want to do it. I know. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> can everybody float around for us? That was really cool, Chris. Can everybody float around Look at her. That is so cool. Look at her. I think, uh, I think Sandy's hair is pretty much a dead giveaway. It is. 
just look at this silliness in slow motion you can see the clothing being pulled upwards highlighting one of the points no doubt there's some lifting cables or attachments to this point here helping these people fall naive individuals into believing absurdities but clearly when we slow this down and zoom in and press play dogs hands-on touchy touchy feely feely approach exposed this silly charade for being just that once more he grabs above the material not actually the material of his clothing ridiculous and believe it or not some people to this day try and defend these clowns so back to the original point of the video it's obvious these individuals off their nut on hairspray tugging away at harnesses no delay looks of guilt and all the other shenanigans that get thrown in that expose the naive people that believe it and of course get exposed by people like myself highlighting this silliness it's obvious this silly charade is not taking place in what we see it go across the sky so what is it we see it go across the sky